Hi, from East Athletics, Coach Drew here, and this is your virtual workout for the day. We have got ankle dorsiflexion to start things off. So we're gonna warm up. This could be included in the warm up, or uh, it doesn't have to be, but we're gonna do this before anything else in the, in the day's activity. So ankle dorsiflexion. If you guys look at my foot right here, if I point my toe, that movement in my ankle is called plantar flexion. So the opposite movement, pulling my toe up to my shin, is called dorsiflexion. So when we're up on that plate for this workout, so say this is the plate right here, I'm working on controlling that downward drive of my heel. So my ankle is uh, controlling that downward motion. I'm not focused so much on the pressing because this is plantar flexion. I'm focused on keeping my ankle controlling straight down. You're gonna do three sets of eight per leg as part of the warm up or right after that. That's what ankle dorsiflexion is. It is super good for honestly your ankle, but also your Achilles tendon and the back of your knee as well. It just feels amazing too when you get that thing limbered up pretty good. The movement for today, the, the strength piece for today, is gonna to be a superset. So, what superset means is you're gonna do number one and then you're gonna go right into number two. Rest as needed in between the sets. You're gonna do five total sets of this super set. So exercise one into exercise two, rest as needed. The first one is gonna be a single leg hip bridge and a strict pull up. So we're gonna do a single leg hip bridge, six repetitions each leg, right into strict pull ups. If you do not have strict pull ups, we will take a banded pull down, fantastic. We will honestly take a bent over row for this particular workout for us today. Same thing gonna do between two and three repetitions. If that's easy for you to do, if you're a pull-up ninja, then we're gonna have you go up to like five or six repetitions that you can do unbroken consistently. We'll work out after that. We're gonna do a 21, 15, nine. Jumping lunges, burpee over an object. Jumping lunges, however, are gonna be times two. So it's gonna be 42 jumping lunges, 21 burpees, 30 jumping lunges, 50, uh, yeah, 15 burpees and then 18 jumping lunges and nine burpees over the object. Make sure you put your score in the Zen Planner so that we can check on and see how you're doing. All right, 